Honestly, I've been considering it. I'm a girl, fun fact nobody asked for, that loves a mustache. Not on me, couldn't be me, um, but I do, I do love a mustache. You know, mustaches tend to be pretty polarizing. Some people are like, they're the worst thing ever. You look like a pedophile. And some people are like, no, they're the best. I love them. So it's just me, just me. Thanks, Livia. You look very professional today. I look like I'm wearing a neck brace. I look like Steve Jobs wearing a neck brace. No, not like the chef's mustache, like just a classic and not handlebars, just a straight, you know, silver or gold jewelry. I'm a, like, okay, I'm about to sound like a pick me girl, but I have always kind of worn both. Um, some of my bracelets are silver, some have rose gold. This one has, is this rose gold? No, I think this is just yellow gold. This is gold. Obviously you guys have eyes gold, silver, and I just, I've always liked mixing metals. I don't know if silver or gold works better on me. Okay, this is an interesting discussion. You know how there's all these things on TikTok? Maybe you're not on the same side of TikTok that I am. That's fine, I'm gonna, I'll explain. Um, that everybody's talking about like color analysis and finding colors that work best for your skin color and all that stuff, you're, you know, your skin color, your eye color, your hair color. Um, but one of the questions that they ask is, does silver or gold look better on you? And I truly do not know which looks better on my skin tone. Like my mom has similar coloring to me. She's got blonde hair, but she's got dark eyes. Um, so I don't know, like I see silver and I'm like, it's fine. I see gold and I'm like, it's also fine. Rose gold I think does look probably the best on me, but I don't freaking know. And I don't know what, there's all these different like, are you a warm, neutral or cool summer, spring, fall or winter? It's like, how do we, how, how can we figure this out? Oh, it's very complicated. I'm gonna say gold for you in my opinion. Okay, that's helpful guys, thanks. I don't wear a lot of color. Um, the colors I do tend to gravitate towards are blues, and some reds, um, like darker, kind of more like gemstone colors. Uh, I used to wear a lot of pink, but being blonde, I don't know, sometimes I feel like blondes that wear pink look so like quintessentially blonde. I think it's just like the Barbie aesthetic. I'm just like, I don't think it looks that good on me. I don't know doesn't really matter, but I am trying to figure out um, like what colors tend to work best for my skin tone. But I typically have a pretty um, minimalist wardrobe. Like I wouldn't say I'm a full min minimalist, but I kind of do have the um, capsule wardrobe because it's just, you know, it's just easier to get dressed. All your clothes work together. There's like no bad combo. Um, what about pearls? I love pearls. I do. This is a pearl. This is a silver pearl. Nobody asked. It's just tiny. How many shoes do you have? Uh, not many. Like. I have two pairs of winter boots. I have three pairs of running shoes, a pair of loafers, a pair of dress boots, a pair of sandals, dress your sandals, and then a pair of Crocs. So like probably less than 10 pairs of shoes. And they're all really high quality shoes because I'm, I have awful feet, so.
love the ponytail, thanks. All Nike running shoes? Nope. I have a pair of Sauconies. The pair that I'm wearing now are Nikes, which I actually would like to replace them soon. And then I have a pair of New Balances. <laughs> Crocs, huh? I guess we know where the dream came from. My Crocs are um, a topic of conversation. I wear platform Crocs. <sighs> Don't knock them till you try them. You gotta see them. They just, they look superior to the regular Crocs. New Balance is so freaking expensive. Yeah, okay. I bought this pair of New Balance uh, probably t not like a year and a half ago. Why did I do this? I bought this pair of New Balances and they were $320. Like I buy expensive shoes because I justify how much I'm going to wear them and I actually wear them down before I buy a new pair. $320, like, are you kidding me? And they are so difficult to clean. I absolutely love the way that they look, but I will not be buying a pair of running shoes that expensive again for what they are. Like, if they were easier to clean and if they went with more things, then probably, but they're like a navy and a gray, which like, it's first tell enough, whatever, nobody cares. People sleep on Saucony, so true. I've been wanting to try Hoka's, but those are also very expensive. But I mean, for running shoes, like I don't cheap out on running shoes because I wear them all the time, clearly. But like the, and by I don't cheap out, I mean, I don't, I still don't spend $300 on running shoes. Like that's ridiculous to me. 